my friends welcome to the viewers choice video on the new episode of the Dean's List for the 99th video it's very interesting times my friends we asked people what they thought apparently uh, I looked through the comments so this is what they thought Wagyu Simmered in red wine sauce, man. We're going to do this, my friends. Very cool. Because people seem to like that. And then we're going to do the burst small mackerel. Uh, these are whole mackerel. Very interesting. Never eaten whole mackerel. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're going to get it done. Also, two people said uh, the nori and the penthouse. I should do them together. So for episode 101, I'll do that. And somebody said you read it. So I'll do that after that. I normally don't schedule vids. But since people commented, that's what's going to happen. Very cool. <laughs> We're out here, my friends. So we'll put this to the side. We'll put these to the side. And we'll get on with business. We're doing surf and turf today, eh? That's pretty cool, right? So we'll give you a shot of these. This is what it is. Um, yeah. And we'll do the fish first because I feel like, right, you get it. So... Let's see. Never eaten small whole mackerel. I'm like, is it going to be like a Dean? Is it going to be like a garfish or a needlefish? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I do know it'll have calcium in it because we're, we're eating bones today. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Crack this. And it looks like three fair sized fish in here. Maybe there's four, one under it. I can't see. Smells fishy. Mackerel, I feel like smells fishy when you open the tin, but it's usually not the fishiest to fish. So, okay. We'll pull one out. All right. I've never seen mackerel, so I don't know what to compare it to. If it's great, if it's not looking great. It looks like, I don't know. It almost looks like chopped up pepper or something in here. I don't think it's supposed to have nothing. Okay, it looks like three serious fishes from the ocean. Okay, I think I, think I might have broke them a little. Anyway, that's, um, these are small mackerel. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. If I'm impressed, unimpressed, I have no idea. We're going to roll with it. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is pretty good mackerel. This is not as dry as some of the mackerel flavor. I have. Where it's almost a little tuna eat to me in its whole form. This is a big guy, man. This is seriously like it's a small mackerel, but that's a fish. That's like what would be a big dean, my friends, if you've seen one, right? Athlete getting it through the sea, you know? So um Yeah, these aren't these ain't little babies. This ain't like a Spratus Spratus Dean, my friends. I'll just break it. Probably go good with some hot sauce. Voila. Oh, my friends. I'm like really into this Melinda's Black Truffle. I just bought an extra bottle today. This stuff's good. Get you some. I'm not eating it with this, but yeah, I like it. I like the weird earthy truffle flavor. I feel like Describing truffle, I would describe it as like earth, like E-R-F-F-F, -F -F. like it, you're eating like the earth, like the la tierra, you know, like it's it's from the earth, and it really is, because they come out the ground, so, you know, that's cool. Yeah, these were good. I was very nervous about eating these for some reason. It was almost giving me agita. But, no, they're good. They're good. This is good. Definitely, um, again, 
I've had a couple of macro things that were like, you know, just whole hum. But this is pretty good. I don't know that I would eat it all the time. But it's an experience. Um, if you're down the tin fish rabbit hole, you know what it's about. One left. So, I'll eat half. Maybe I'll give half to my dog when he comes in. He's out there barking. And now we're going to try this stuff, my friends. I was going to put this in a water bath, but whatever, right? I had all this stuff at room temperature. Who's afraid? You're afraid. I'm not afraid. So, yeah, that really fancy box with writing on it. Check that out, my friends. This company ain't playing around. It's Japan, baby. You know they do most things right. Awita French series. And the rest is in Japanese, so. It's a little tin. It's a little three, four ouncer. I have no idea what's going on in here. Doesn't smell like much. Doesn't really look like much. But we'll pull some out. See what's going on in this tin, eh? This might be some fanciness just waiting to happen. Oh, okay. There's chunks of beef in here. That's a chunk of beef. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how well this will pick up. It's definitely like chunks of beef. And uh, I'm trying not to lose these off the fork in the gravy. So that's cool. I don't know how this is going to taste. But hey, man, it's Wagyu and red wine sauce. So, um... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Mm hmm. Interesting. It's fatty in a good way, though. Fat's just melting. Had a little more chew than I thought. I feel like I can taste the red wine sauce or something. Something a little bit whiny about it. For lack of a better term. Like, what is that? Like those dry wines? Tastes like oak barrels. This is ultra fatty. There's like mad fat in here. But this is pretty good, man. If you warm this up. Oh, there's a carrot in here. Check it out. They put like a chunk of a carrot in here, my friends. That's cool. And that's a mushy can carrot. Um, yeah, you can definitely detect the red wine now. I don't know that I'd love that, but maybe if you're French. Mm hmm. This is a pretty good tin, though. I can't lie, I'm not like mad eating this. Um, no, it's pretty good. I don't really know what to expect out of beef in a tin either and I think that's it the rest is gravy I should probably go good over rice also have short ribs and flank steak that I'll probably be trying on the channel too so um yeah that's cool so interesting times oh my friends I just went to Wally World today you can get these for 250 I don't go to Wiley World like that, but they might have sold me on this. I couldn't find lemon mackerel at ShopRite, so I broke down and went to Wiley World. But I go to the nice one in West Berlin. It's pretty nice over there if you're trying to not go to, like, a, a rough one. Anyway. On that note, my friends, it's a good day. God made it. He gave me all this fish in... You know, I just surfed and turfed today. You know what I mean? I'm on the water. I'm on the land. I'm everywhere. The Dean's List is out here. Oh, let me give a big shout out to Gator Life, man. If you're into Philly sports, follow the Philly Alligator. He's the man. That's my bro. I love him. Um, Brian Not High Row, Diesel. I love you all. Chalupa, you're the man, bro. Um, yeah. So, everybody, we appreciate you tuning in. Stay up. God loves you. And we'll see you for the 100th episode soon, right? All right. Peace.